So guys, I am back with another Pal World video and today guys, I showcase you the ultimate breeding base design, give you guys tips and tricks for Pal World. You do not want to miss this people you can see it on screen now, my base, what I've done. If you watched my video from about a week ago now, I showcased this base but it's drastically changed since then, it's actually gained another layer, it's grown another layer guys, another shell. And I guide you through exactly what's going down here. How you can achieve this yourself if you play Power World and are looking for a nice spacious base just like this one. How's it going guys? My name's DPGM. Before we go any further, I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game. Or actually any game of your choice. To be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. Winners will be picked from the comment section of my videos and announced at the end of the week. So good luck. So as you can see guys, a lot of brooding is actually going down right now. I'm actually trying to get myself enough Anubis. I've actually, you know what, thinking about it now. I've probably got more than enough now. I should probably stop these dudes from wasting my cakes. I'm actually brooding the ultimate combat Anubis, which you'll get a quick glimpse of right here, guys. See me right there. Earth Emperor, Legend, Muscle Head, Ferocious. The ultimate in regards to attacking passives on my Anubis. i got a guy coming on this guy soon as well. He's utterly brutal, guys. But yeah. I need the Anubis to put into the condensation machine to get him to a stage 4 in there. And then what? We are ready to go. So I expect that video soon. But as you can see, this is what I've done. This is what I've created in regards to my breeding base. Now the base itself, if you haven't seen this already, is two bases side by side. The location of it you can see on the screen here. So there's base 1. That is a negative 257 to a 39. And the other base is a negative 259 to a 58. Those are the coordinates. It's a nice flat bit of land. I mean, it's massively flat. There's no bumps, no creases, no hills, no nothing until you get to this back area here, which is where I almost first first built. Glad I didn't know. So I actually achieved this was that's your base. I'll explain better when I'm down below because I'll show you the the beneath layer in a second. I'll give you a guided tour. But I put down one power box, then I built stone foundations in it in a straight line, all the way over to that section over there, and then stopped. I turned around. I pulled out another power box. Followed the foundations back until it said on my screen and I got a warning saying you're too close to another base. So I took a few steps backwards. When that warning went off my screen, I built it in, in line, in sync with that other power box. And then I just enclosed it all. And that's what you see right here. This is completely enclosed. There's no gaps, no nothing. It's all one big base, although it's just two bases together. But yeah. Okay, so what I did with, I mean, brood in this game, for me anyway, it's so cumbersome in regards to the size, the space you need for these uh, brooding pens. I needed, I needed plenty of them. Now I'm not the type of player that likes fast traveling here, fast traveling there. I want my base all in one place. And that's what I decided to try and do. Now initially before I had the second layer, I only had two brooding pens, which was just not enough. So I decided to stretch it, grow it up. And now I've got 12. And 12 is about right for me as of right now. Uh, I can do what I want here. And I'm actually quite achieving it quite good and efficiently, which is what I wanted. But I needed the space because, as you know, pals in this game, they lose track of what they're doing and get stuck on things. Um, and when everything's all in the same area, things get super laggy, buggy, glitchy. I've had absolutely no problems with that in regards to this right now. Uh, so, yeah, it's looking good clean spacious which is what exactly what i wanted i'm so glad I actually built up same on this side too this is the other side here i think there's five pens here which get used less but well, this is more so here about the viewing cages i probably will take down one pen and add a couple more viewing cages eventually the viewing cages i'm using because when i overbrewed powers for the condensation machine i can't stand my power box being cluttered i like it nice and neat so everything i need in regards to the condensation machine gets thrown into these two. So these are like my spares and repairs. Apart from these two up here, these are just for show. So they look cool as heck at night. And that's just more, just for my vendors, which I've just caught. Uh, but yeah, if I need to buy something from a vendor or sell something to a vendor, I just come up top, grab them from there. Simple as that, guys. But yeah, this is the one section. And that is the other section right there. Now, with regards to how close you can build two bases together, you can see from here, it's about four foundations apart, so not far whatsoever. And what I tried to do is I tried to build on the perimeter 
Obviously, it's a circle, so anything outside of the circle, if you're on an official server, will decay over time. I've turned that off, so I ain't got to worry about that. But again, you can still fill it in. Uh, you can build it in the perimeter quite easily. I mean, mine's like a foundation out. You can build that one in. It's still perfectly fine. You just have to repair and fix the things that do decay over time, which is not hard to do whatsoever. Especially when you're at this stage of the game, we can actually build something like this. So this is the breeding section. Now we'll go down. In fact, it's probably just easier to jump off my jet wagon. There we go. We'll come here, lad. Now, as you can see right here, guys, that this is... Well, that's the actual workstation, which we'll go down to in a second. This is the ultimate breeding space for me. It's exactly what I wanted and exactly what I needed. Plenty of space, plenty of incubators. That's, that's all you need. Again, breeding this game is so cumbersome. The pals forget what they're doing. They go somewhere else to get stuck. And this, that and the other. But the way I've got this set up now, guys, I've not had a single problem. I've bred so much, as you can see. My pals are all still happy. It's quick access to down if they want to go down to eat or whatever. The bigger pals go down this way, as you do. As you can see right here, another way down. I've made a few holes in the floor just for myself as well. Just so if I need to get down or up easier, that's what we do. So yep, this is the bottom section. And I'll give you a guided tour of this. In fact, I'll show you what I did firstly to build this base. I put down this power box right there. I built a stone foundation right in front of it, tried to make it centre as I could. And then I just ran in a straight line. I kept building down foundations, as you can see. The foundations are all the way along to the very, very other side. Which is where my other power box is. And like I said, I just followed it all the way along until I couldn't put any more down. I turned back on myself. I pulled out another power box. Like so. And then I just turned back on myself and I walked this way. In sync. On the foundations until it said, I got a notification on my screen. You can't put one down because you're too close to another base. And I'll step back a bit on myself and then put it down. And I built and basically put it all together. And that's what, that's what we have here. Make sure it's all enclosed. Make sure there's no light getting in. Well, actually, to be honest, the, the initial video I posted, this entire top section I built the day before yesterday, but this was all nice and open. It was nice and, well, nice and light, but to be honest, I like the way it looks now because I like the, the, the effects of the lampposts that I put down. Just makes it look more warmly, more homely in my opinion. But yeah, okay, so this is, I'd say this is the main section of my base. It's where all the storage is. It's where all that good stuff happens. But the way I wanted it is, I wanted it so, when I spawned in, I didn't see German tide stuck. I could see that way. I wanted all the work and the crap, uh, the crafting happening behind me. So I did that, I built it all behind me. So here we go hard, we'll go viewing cage, pals and all that. Here we have my cooking station. I have my smarting station and chilling area. And then the sleeping area, which is nice and out of the way. And the fridge. But the reason I've got this area so big here is because German tides. German tides are the best watering pals for the crusher and the mill. And German tide Ignis is the best uh, cooking and smelting pal. Both level fours in watering and kindling, but they need space because they get absolutely trapped on everything. Utterly everything. As you can see right there, it doesn't matter how big your base is, they'll still get trapped. But when there's work to be done, they get it done and it's efficient, so that's all I care about. So yeah. Here we have the mill and the crusher, well, where the electric gets generated, lumbering sites and uh, mining sites, which are just perfect. As you can see here, these are more or less, well, just the lumbering one won't be because of where it is to the stoning. Uh, but this, get Anubis on the case, Anubis just farms so much, puts it straight in the boxes too, the benefits of Anubis. And the same thing over here, obviously Anubis don't do the lumbering, but hey. Got German Tide Ignis there, just stuck again, pain in my absolute ass. We've got the base buffs here, I don't need that. I've got one behind the thingy, so that can get dismantled actually. Okay, now I'm overweight, that's all good, so I'll put it in here, just for now. There we go, we're good. Okay, so yeah, handiwork, lumbering, well, kindling, planting and gardening is that. We have my watering over there in the form of the foundation. Here we have my workstations where shit gets done. Because I'm breeding my Anubis is upstairs, nothing's getting done at the minute. Apart from my shotgun shells, we'll take them. Cheers. Here we have another chilling area. Workstations. Uh, here is where I grill. 
one section of my my allotment it's where berries and wheat get grown because you can't have too many cakes berries wheat uh milk eggs which we'll get into in a second can't have enough of them so this is lettuces and tomatoes this side the center section if you saw my over order video was a pub a bar i've uh changed that now this is basically an easy way to get up to the top i've also built a bar up there which i'll show you in a second now the left and right sides which are outside of my base areas i've just built houses they're empty they're a bit, they ain't occupied but i've filled them out with furniture and that just to make them look a bit more homely without these here the base looks empty you know looks really empty so yeah okay so this side we have more uh allotments more growing stations shall we call them where all my shit gets done and dropped and left again this is because my anubises when my anubises ain't breeding they just clear up all this take it to where it needs to go needs to go so yeah we've got plenty of uh, what we need here look all them tomatoes stacked up these two anubises don't know what they're doing oh he just vanished don't know where he went hey buggy power world gotta love it okay so this section right here guys is my ranch and there we go where all the milk and eggs and uh, honey gets dropped and done it's actually loads there you know I should probably actually take my anubis off uh, off brooding because it's all starting to get a bit cluttered here it really is <laughs> let's take it straight to that then guys we have my condensation machine in the corner we have another chilling area right over there and here we have my well, that's the other power box to put down a bit more bit of storage on the left and right of it cool here we have the bedroom area for my pals. This way goes straight up to the other side of the base, the breeding section. Just like so, as you can see. Now I take it to my headquarters down here. And back up the other side, which I've changed a bit. I've changed a little bit from the last video. Yeah, so up here, guys, we have my bed where I watch the telly, as you know. I have my private bathroom here. With my still legendary tree in the corner just like so where i get my work done there and go straight out onto the breeding station if i want to just like so or we come down here to another chilling area where i sit back relax and watch tv as you do and that's basically it guys besides the um the pub dining area which i'll show you now we should go around the other side to actually get into. How many eggs are here? I think I only did like 40 more. Uh, I think I've overdone it. It don't really matter. Okay, so in here, guys, we have my other... This needs to be decorated a bit more. To add a bit more furnishings to it. Same with the houses out there. These houses on this side are empty. On the other side, I think I filled them. I think, yeah, I did fill them. They've got furniture in. But yeah. So this is the dining area if you ever come over get yourself a meal two for one only on thursdays as you do but yeah that's basically the updated guide on my base and how i recommend you guys running it if you do plan on doing anything like this i mean with all the workstations down below which you will need the growing areas for cakes and food and things like that you will need a bigger space if you can build on top which is what i've done <gasps> it's actually underrated underrated and i love it it's perfect for me what i need again if i ever needed anything else i could always build up again that may be another video next month we'll see guys we will see but there we have it guys how i've built this base what if i were you what i'd do in regards to breeding and making it more sufficient on yourselves uh, but yeah do what you gotta do guys but this is my base as of right now the ultimate two by two or one by one base two bases built together completely enclosed doing everything i need to do my third base just out in the open world for wanting to farm a certain material a certain node a certain rock well there we have it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one